Lindsay here in the Renee's Trial Garden and today I'm going to show you how I plant our incredible Escalator organic climbing zucchini. So I have my garden bed here in full sun, all day sun, which squash love. And I have my bed prepped with a good amount of well broken down compost and some organic all purpose dry fertilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and plant groups of two to three seeds every 12 inches along my trellis here. So I've got my ruler and I've got my seeds. I just put two, two to three seeds in a little triangle kind of close together and then just put them on the surface and then push them down about an inch. Sow my seeds and I push them in an inch deep, cover them back over and I'm going to just push the soil, give the soil a little tap so it firms it and gives a nice soil contact with the seeds. I'm not pushing down and compacting it. I just want good soil contact with the seeds. And this way, when you water, it doesn't flood the seeds up and move them around. I like to use these when I'm sowing groups of seeds at a wider spacing because then you don't lose track of where your groups are. And then once these germinate and they start popping up, We'll remove the basket and then we'll thin. And we're in an area where birds love to come and eat young seedlings, so this will protect them and give them a chance. So next I'm going to water in and I'm just going to use a really light spray to start off. You don't want to flood the soil at first because then your seeds might float up and move around. So just a nice light spray so you can see it soaking in. And then after this, I'm going to keep an eye on it daily and make sure that they don't dry out while they're germinating. So here we are back with our organic, incredible escalator climbing zucchini. And I sowed these about 10 or 12 days ago and they're ready to thin. I did groups of two to three seeds every 12 inches. And you can see they're starting to pop out of their little pots and they've got their first set of true leaves. So I'm going to take all these off and thin them down to one strong plant. You definitely want to make sure to thin these because they get really, really huge. And if you leave more than one, they'll just not have room to grow and they'll be stunted and they will outcompete each other and you won't have very good plants at all. So I'm just gonna go through and pull one out from each little group. I go for the strongest plant. So this is the bigger one. So I'll pull out these little ones. I always like to water them in again after I thin because ultimately you're disturbing the roots of the plant that you left in the ground. So it's good to water and settle the soil back down and give them a little boost after their roots are disturbed. So here we have our incredible escalator zucchini, our climbing zucchini. It's been planted for about a month now and they're really starting to vine now. And so to get these to grow up on the trellis, we really need to train them. So I just have some soft cotton twine here. And so I'm going to get these attached to this trellis here and just tie them on. At first they need training. They need a little help sticking to the trellis. And as you train them, they kind of grab on by themselves and will grow up. But it's a good idea to keep an eye on them and make sure they're not flopping over and keep them growing upright on the trellis. These are amazing because they'll grow about seven feet tall and completely cover your trellis. And they're really nice because they save garden space because they're growing upright and it makes them easy to harvest too. Here, so I've got this tied on there. And I think I'm going to tie the end of this one more time. Get it tied on not too tight because these stems will really thicken up. So you want to give it a little slack when you tie it. Make sure it's not super tight on there. That's just right. There. And as they send out, they may send out some branches and just keep an eye on it and keep them all trained up. So I have another one over here to show you. 
this guy is vining right along. So sometimes you need to move the giant leaves out of the way and make sure not to make sure to handle it kind of gingerly so that you don't crack the stem. And just get it close to your trellis and tie it on. So I'll keep an eye on these throughout the season and make sure they're growing upright on the fence and not flopping down and we'll come back when it's time to harvest. So these climbing zucchini are still growing so I make sure to check them every few days and keep training them up on my trellis. They do have little tendrils that hang on but it's such a vigorous grower that it's good to keep an eye on it and keep it growing upright. Here we are with our organic climbing zucchini, incredible escalator climbing beautifully up our trellis here. You can see how magnificent this plant is. It's one of my favorite squash ever and it's just nice and flat to the trellis. It's not taking up too much space and you can see they're coming along the stems here, the little fruits and they're so easy to harvest because you can see it all. So I have a good one down here that's pretty ready. They're so easy, just cut them right off. We got some beautiful green zucchini and they're really, really tasty and sweet. So I check on the fruit production every day and you can see there's some ready to harvest. I go through and just cut them right off the stem. Some up here too. And these produce just the most beautiful dark green zucchini. So I hope you found this video helpful and you want to try your hand at growing our organic escalator zucchini and you can find the seeds at reneesgarden.com.